Hi all, Elsa here with just a few designs and it's been a while, hasn't it? Life. Every time I try to come back here, something comes up and I don't make it. But tonight I decided I'd come and show you this. I don't know if you can see that. This is a cute little brag book. Really, really simple to make. That I thought with the holidays coming, I have a lot of newcomers. You all, thank you so much for subscribing, for watching, for all your awesome emails and um, comments. I really appreciate it. So I realized that simple project sometimes is a good thing for somebody that's starting out and it that uh so you don't get overwhelmed because you can't get overwhelmed with so much that's out there but this is really simple and it's again using one of the ring binders which makes life so much easier than something you can put in your pocket my granddaughter's name is carmen rain so i thought i'd make a little brag book to put in my purse it's not really bulky it'll fit anywhere but before we get started with that can you see the glitter on this paper right here it's actual glitter it doesn't come off like most glitters, which is awesome because to be honest, me and glitter have never been best of friends. But when the friends over at Artesa contacted me and asked me to review the glitters, at first I was like, oh my God, glitter, I'm gonna be wearing it for the next six months. But I was glad that I accepted and this is what they sent me. They sent me 48 vials of their premium extra fine glitter. That is the key word, extra fine love it i have um i don't know if you can see but i put it in my acrylic for my nails and it is so fine that it did not mess with the acrylic itself and it dried very nicely now my nails shine really pretty i really like it um on the side of the box it has the legend of all the colors that are available in this little box right here now they come in little vials individual vials like this they come labeled with the name and they have a little flip top so that you can sprinkle the glitter but then the lid itself comes off off the bottle really really easy so that you can put all you know all the excess back the only thing that I will say and they wanted me to review this so I'm gonna be really honest is that I don't like that the colors are not on the top of each file so you have no way of knowing and I don't really want to take them out of the box this is how I'm gonna store them this is how I'm gonna keep them uh, so I you can go by the legend and then try to pick them up which the legend is, is, is very very good in helping you but it'd be nice if the uh, color of the glitter was on top of each of the lids that would really help like for instance that that yellow one if uh, the bottom it says neon lemon if it was up here that'd be awesome or but this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little glitter on a little piece of paper something glue it to the top of each of the lids so that I can see what the color is that's that's the only thing other than that I was really impressed with the glitter itself it being really really super fine I mean it's like fine 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 you can barely feel it I really really like that now that is how I made my glitter paper with this glitter right here so I'm going to show you how to do that and in the process oh also I was told to tell you all that uh, you all are going to get 10% off if you use the link at on the description below and I believe I have till the end of the month for you to get 10% off okay so thank you Artisa for sending those and now let me show you how to make this now uh, you see this um, die right here looks like a cloud to me and that's why I used it for my baby girl because she's she's just a year old but uh, for this new one that I'm making I'm gonna make a Christmas album I'm gonna use a different die okay so what you're gonna need to make this brag book is a piece of chipboard something a little bit heavier than the paper that you're using because you're going to sandwich it between two pieces of your paper right to make to make your front and back covers you want those to be a little bit heavier than the pages in between okay so this <laughs> that's Fernando back there hacking away so um, this die that I use for the baby brag book I thought looked like a cloud but the one that I'm using to make this little Christmas um, brag book mini album are, are these right here. And when I first got started, I used to just tear open the packages and get them in my hands as fast as I could. So I can't even tell you what this is called. I know it is from Spellbinders and there's seven dies in the set. To make this brag book, I used 
the big one and this is for the front and back covers and all of the pages in between and this measures about four by four then I used the next one of its size did I use the next one of its size? hold on before I, before I lie to you yes I used the next one on the die set and I only cut one of those this one okay with that one then I used the third one and I also only cut one of those where is that one right there that's for the front cover to decorate the front cover then I cut a one inch by one inch little piece of paper right there and then uh, I cut of course two of these one for the front and one for the back and this is like I said for the front and back cover something a little bit heavier and then you're gonna need you're gonna sandwich it like I did here I, I already did the back cover okay just so that it's a little bit heavier than of course your pages right okay now for the front cover I already glued one part to it the front part though you're not gonna cut it until you do the following okay so I'm gonna take a piece of the white paper like I've been using and really you can use any colored paper I just went with white because I like the way the white glitter looks but look at the pink I use pink right here and it's just as beautiful so I'm going to take that largest die which is what I'm using for the pages and let me tell you if you don't have the dies that's okay just do it in circles <laughs> if you don't have a square die then use a frown die which really you can use any shape this just happens to be the one that I wanted to use for this but if you don't have any dies if you don't have the cutter then just cut the the pages square it'll look just as beautiful do a four by four and then if you have glitter um, this fine glitter I don't know I haven't tried it with other glitters so um, before I go on record saying that no other glitter will work <laughs> I don't know because this is the only glitter that I've done and I thought it being so fine it really loaned itself to doing this so just cut you four by four five by five whatever size you want to make your bini in but since I'm using this this is the process that I went through okay so this is where I'm gonna cut my front page from okay so I'm just gonna cut around it right here Okay, so that's the size of my page right there you see and as you can see on this mini you can see the glitter on the outside and then I have a smaller and a smaller which is what I'm doing here a smaller size I this is actually how it's going to be I'm gonna have my front cover then I'm gonna have the next size down then I'm gonna have that one by one inch there and and how, how you put this in here is going to be completely up to you uh, you know doesn't matter but this is going to be my front so here we are right there now I don't want to glitter the whole paper I don't want to waste the whole paper because when I put this on here it's going to block a whole bunch of it right so I just really want the outskirts of this to show so what I'm going to do to make my glitter paper I'm going to be using this double-sided tape right here now it says Elizabeth craft designs on it and it has a little bird on it I wish I could tell you how much it is and who I bought it from all I can tell you is that I bought it from eBay I had seen somebody use it and uh, they enabled me to buy it so I bought it but I haven't used it since I bought it so it's been in a drawer for about two years maybe so yeah okay so I'm going to guess estimate about how much of it I need to make my paper cut it right there and because I'm not going to do the whole thing all the way around I'm going to cut this in half because this is a very very thick not thick wide tape which is awesome okay so I'm just going to see around where this would be so I'm going to put this on the edge right here. That's where I'm putting my tape. I'm going to zoom in and every time I zoom in when I edit the video I always wish I hadn't put there. So I'm going to put this one over here on this side. 
So let's see. So I just need a little piece in the center. Like right there. Very, very nice sticky paper. So I'm gonna go right there. I don't want it to overlap because then it's, let me show you what happened with this one. Can you see right there where the tape overlapped? Right there and right there. It kind of gave me a little lump that I don't like. So I'm trying to avoid that this time. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. You do need to make sure that you have tape from one end to the other because wherever there's no tape, there's no glue. I mean, there's no glitter. Glitter is not gonna stick there. Okay, so now that we have this taped, here's where you make your cut. So I'm going to go die cut this right here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so all I did really was put uh, this tape, double-sided tape, where it was going to show. Because once I put this on here, see, that's all you're going to see is the outer skirts of it. And that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to waste the tape and I didn't want to waste the glitter if I didn't have to. Okay. Now these, um, I have a big old magnet, a bar that I had purchased at Harbor Freight. It's like super duper strong magnet and I put all these that I don't have the packaging for on these metal binding rings and then I just attach them to that magnet and they hang on my wall so they're out of the way and that's how I store those okay so now that this is done the fun part I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and peel your tape off and this tape peels off so easy so so easy see it overlapped here a little bit so it's going to want to do that funky thing okay i'm going to add a little glue to this area right here where i don't see tape because i want glitter all over it just a little bit okay so now that you have your paper ready it's time to select a glitter that you want I know I want that white one but now that I'm thinking about it this is Christmas so I could do a red huh hmm but white just looks so pretty or I could do like a beautiful green. Look at that green. That is just some beautiful colors. Um, what else is Christmassy? It's like a nice rich purple too, huh? No. No, 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 no. I'm going to stay with the white one. <laughs> okay. So let's um, open your little shaker here. And put your glitter on your paper. Now, with your finger, go ahead and rub it in. Look at that. I don't know if the camera is picking this up. But oh my goodness gracious. It is so pretty. This glitter is iridescent. It has a lot of like hello graphic um, in it. It is just so pretty. And just rub it in. Keep rubbing it. When it stops feeling tacky, it's because there's glitter all on your tape and you've got it.
there's still some areas that are feeling a little tacky so I'm gonna put some more glitter on there so we'll go here Okay, so now shake it off really good. And this is going to go back in the bottle. It's gonna go back in this box. Okay, so let me show you. I'm just gonna throw that away. This is your paper. Shake it off real good. Now, here is the glitter paper. I mean, you can make it and then you can die cut from it if you just make like a sheet of paper and just make glitter paper. And well, that finger, let me show, that finger has no glitter on it. Once it's done, it's done. See, the glitter doesn't, doesn't come off. It's on the paper. So it's safe for you to put it in your purse and you're not gonna get glitter all over you. Now, of course, I'm all glittery right now because I just used it. But it being so fine, it just attaches itself to that tape, to the double-sided tape. So now we can continue with our project. So, so this is my front. So I'm just gonna lay it down with some glue. just love that the glitter is on there okay so I have my back so this is my front cover and I still don't know if I want to do this oh I was also going to put some of that glitter on this paper here okay so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some paper some tape to that and glitter that up too I think I'm going to do this color. So I'm going to take and cut it right there. So I just put my paper on the tape so I can cut it out. Right there. It's some powerful tape, let me tell you. itself there. A 
Okay. Put there. Peel the backing now. Okay. So now let's glitter this. And I'm gonna go with a gold. Look at the beautiful gold. Okay, so and the colors are so iridescent. They're just beautiful. Beautiful glitter. I didn't even know I love glitter. Because I never really have. I think since I started doing videos, I've done one thing, maybe two. I can remember one right now. I did some glittered butterflies. Really rub it in there. Take all the leftover glitter off. I'm just gonna throw this away. Look at that. Beautiful glitter paper. And I would show you, but I already have glitter all over me <laughs> from making it. But it's staying on there. I mean it's just I love it. Okay, so let's put that back up. And now on this one I'm just gonna cut a little fishtail on it just like this like that put this right here let me put it on the top part of it there. so I'm going to put this up with some foam tape just to give it a little height and this foam tape right here that I'm using I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar it's over there where all the um, I found it where they have like the yard sale um, banners and stuff for some reason Okay. And there's a lot of gold in here. That's why I went with gold. Okay, so let's... If I put it like this, it won't cover everything, will it? No. You see, I can't change my design to go like this now because I'm missing glitter right there. So when you go to make your glitter paper, if you're going to do like I'm doing, just make sure that you have glitter wherever wherever you need it. So okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with this. it really hard now. I'm gonna put this right here. And then I have just a white little one by one that I'm gonna put on the top. And that is where I'm going to write something. Like on this one I wrote Carmen Rain because that is my granddaughter's name, first and middle name. On here I may write grandkids or something. So I'm just gonna leave that blank for right now. I'm gonna pop it up with some tape until I decide what I want to put on it. But for now that's gonna go right here. Okay, so that's my cover. 
Uh, you can decorate as much as you want, as little as you want. Now for the pages, now this is my back cover. I did the same thing. I sandwiched it so it makes it kind of sturdy. And then I just cut the same color paper like this, but on the bigger, because that's going to go right there. And that's just how I'm going to decorate the back of my book. Like that. Just like that, okay? Now, the center pages, what I did, and once again, I know I said this one, so I'm saying it again. Uh, this, this depends how many pages you want to use, how, how, many, how big your book is. What I did is I did a decorative and three pages, and then decorative page and three pages, decorative and three pages. I'm gonna put four because I did an extra one for some reason and your decorative page at the last. So I have what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 or 15 pages. What I wanted to do with these little ones right here that I cut out is that I wanted to tab them. If I, I was thinking that I'm going to do um, Santa pictures you know, just a couple, and then the next one may be when I take her um, to buy the Christmas tree or to buy an ornament or something like that. So I was going to tab it. Well, I wasn't. I am. I'm going to put little tabs here so that I can label what each of the pictures are now once again. If I only put three pages for three pictures and it turns out I need more because I'm not committed to a binding system it's on a um, on one of those round metal binders I can keep adding pages you know forever so I'm just gonna put this right here so that's gonna be my first tab and then this is the same color page, so I'm going to change it for this one. Make sure my stockings are going in the right direction. And I'm going to use the stocking one, and I'm going to fold it this way so that the stockings are going in the right direction. And I think I'm just going to put glue on this one. Okay, so where was that tab? that tab that tab is there so I'm gonna put this one right below it so that one's there so right there so that's my second tab at the end because you're the same thing. And hmm, where's my one like that one? Here it is. And this one I'm just gonna put way at the bottom. And then with a label maker with a black marker or something, I'm just going to label it. Santa pictures, Christmas tree, buying the Christmas tree, um, whatever, whatever. You, you get, you get what, what I'm saying. And I put this one up too high. It needs to go a lot lower. I want them all at the same height. This is a good thing about working with wet glue also it gives you time for all these little errors. So see, even if you don't have the die cut, this will work great with just straight 4x4 four four little boxes. Okay, and since I have a last page here, and at the end I did just a single page like that, so that if I did want to add extra pages, I would have it. So this one's going to start up at the top again.
just like that. Okay. So there we go. So let's do one, two, three. You one, two, three. You one, two, three. Let's say four. You and you on the back. And then you're gonna take your last cup. Goes right there. Your little tabs are gonna stick out at the end. So now. If you have this mother right here, this is what we're going to use to punch the holes. If you don't, you can just use a paper punch. Any of those regular punch, like from um, Walmart has them, or anything that you use to punch holes now. I want to put the whole thing to there, but it's not going to let me. That made me think of, I want to rock right now. I'm not internationally known, but I've known to rock the microphone. Something like that, huh? Okay, so this thing right here has a little gauge, okay? And that way you know exactly so that you don't put a hole there one time and then a hole here the, ne here the next. It lets you gauge it up to where you want your hole. So I want my hole right there on all the pages. So I'm just bringing this little slider right there. You see that? I'm bringing that slider up to where I want the pages to stop and I think that's a good spot right there so then you just tighten it right here and if I didn't have these long talons right now this would be really easy but there let me see so make sure that everything's lined up just like you want it right there butt it up to there and squeeze Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with these. Make sure that everything is right where you want it. Now this is the only thing that I have against this machine is that these things don't come out. You have to try them out. Okay, so you're going to butt it up right to that thing, just where the others were, and you're going to punch. So now all your holes should be the same distance in the same spot and they are so now you are going to just take I'm going to use this one for now because I don't know what mine went I'm going to take a little ring put it through there and you are done and now you have your little tabs for where you want to go. This would also work really good as a recipe book. If you wanted to give out and just write recipes and it's Christmas and then maybe do pies and whatever. And my family would have tamales and champurrado, buñuelos, you know. So whatever, whatever you do, I think that this would make a great recipe book. So that's why also I did the tabs because that's where I was going towards. But uh, pictures would also be really cute on here because then if you have cute pictures like let's see not that one because that's me and I don't show you pictures of me <laughs> well damn they're all pictures of me okay this is where my sister and I went to New Mexico and this was painted on the front of a building or the side of a building isn't that beautiful but if you have pictures you know how big this your your page is now right so you you don't want a picture as big as your pick as your pages you want a little border maybe you may want it as big I'm gonna want to go one size down maybe two sides well one size down so I have a little border so now you can take your picture put this on it cut it and your picture will fit just perfect on your pages so that's one thing that you can do so and then get, get you some pretty holiday ribbons and just tie them on the side put your bow or don't do anything to it put you some charms put you some fibers right here and that is all that you would need what makes this really pretty I think it's the glitter the glitter really really works well with that so that is my little 
my little tutorial today. It's really simple, really easy. The folks at Artisa are giving you 10% right now if you use the link below. And I will tell you that if you do use my link, I will get a tiny percentage of what you buy. So, um, but you could try with other glitters, of course. Um, I just really like how fine that particular glitter is. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you make these little simple, simple books and that you have a lot of fun creating because that's what it's about. It's having fun. If you're getting aggravated and frustrated while you're crafting, then you need to push away from the table. Go find something else to do because this should not be frustrating. This should be really simple. This should be really fun. And I think the simpler you keep it, the more fun you will get from it because, see, I'm done. <laughs> so tomorrow I can do something else. I hope to come back soon. I hope you come back soon. And thank you so much for your support, for your comments, and for your love. I read all your comments, and I love you all back. So thank you so much, and till the next one. Good night.